How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, it really helps out. And subscribe if you do want to see more. Also, before we go any further for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play it on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within that video description. Okay, so today I bring you the updated level 60 version of my Winter Soldier build. Now my Winter Soldier build, if you don't know what it is, it's basically one of the best out there for an all-round Zane build. For all, everything this game throws at you, every aspect of the game, raids, slaughter shaft, farming bosses, this thing will help you absolutely everywhere. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I personally prefer my Lazy Zane build. My Lazy Zane build is basically exactly what it is. You can sit back, put your legs up, while your Digiclone does all the work for you. Because obviously they buff Digiclone, it's way better now than what it used to be. And I prefer that build over this build, but I know there's people are still out there that are still using the Winter Soldier build. And I know this because they've asked me to do an update video on it. And that's what I've been used today. So this is where it's an all round build, the Lazy Zane. I mean, it's more, it's, it's exactly what it is, it's lazy and it's built for you to be lazy. But it's still great at the same time, like a nice amazing for all aspects of the game also. If you want to play the game, you want to run around, do crazy damage, uh, making the most out of your action skills, that's what this is for. Now, I don't feel I have to explain everything to you. I mean, you've probably seen this build, I've, this is probably about the 10th version of it I've done. Every update they drop, I think they change or update the build because at one time, well, it, to be honest, I probably will go back to this. It was my main build. It's the build I use forever. So weapons. I mean, we know what weapons are good in the game. Surely you do too. Light show, incredible. Beacon, incredible. I mean, backburn's incredible. OPQ system's incredible. Yellow cake's incredible. Flip out. You know what weapons are good, people. It's the anointment you need to know. And this is the anointment you want in it. While well, Sentinel is active, gain 100% of damage as bonus cryo damage. Because this build is built around having that Sentinel always active basically 99% of the time as well as the barrier because he's kicking with a few perks on the skill tree with the seeing dead class mod so you basically your action skills are always active so you're always getting this bonus damage right here so that's that that's the enormity you want on all your weapons i mean the other enormity of 200% damage while your action skills are active isn't too bad but i prefer this one i just think it's i think uh I think Phil did a video where he tested I don't know, somebody did a video where they tested it and it come out that this was better at the end of the day. So yeah, I stuck to this. Shield, I'm using the old god because I just absolutely love it. I mean, if you can get this with Sentinel movement speed, I had a level 60 version of it. Don't have that. But if you can get the anointment of while Sentinel is active, you gain 15% movement speed. That is, in honesty, what you want. Other prefixes beside old god, I mean, this can come with a variety of different things. If you can get Vagabond on it, which gives you even more movement speed. Because speed equals damage, people. You gotta remember that, especially in this build two is Zane. Um, but yeah, so that's what you want. The old guard, Croyo version, anointment, sentinel movement speed. If you can get Vagabond as a prefix, go for that. Seeing dead all day long. I mean, this is the one I was using on my lazy Zane build because of that action skill damage. I mean, that really won't come into play with this build. But weapon damage and weapon magazine size, I'm just a, a lover of weapon mag size. But hey, weapon damage is too. Can't go wrong, but seeing dead is definitely what you want. Obviously, the skills you want on it, you want them to help you with your build, it's as simple as that. This can be farmed anywhere on the handsome jackpot, by the way. Grenade, I use either, it depends, because obviously now I'm using like weapons like the light show that just burn through that ammo so quick. It wants something like the fish slap paired with a cut purse, because these two together, obviously, fish slap's damage is melee damage, so that comes out of your gun when you're shooting, you're obviously activated with grenades being thrown and shot and dropped by the sentinel, and that obviously gives you back your ammo when paired with a cut purse artifact, so it's dealing damage, you're dealing melee damage, so your plan is your ammo, and that's what you got to remember, but if I ain't using weapons that run out of ammo quickly, I'll switch this up for the it's piss, and I'll use a victory rush, whichever victory rush just fits my build, I mean, fits what I'm using and what I'm doing, I mean, the skills on them, you want weapon damage, cryo damage is perfect, SMG damage, magazine size, you know how it goes people, but victory rush for me, movement speed is two, I mean if you can get like a snowdrift victory rush, I do have the perfect level 57, I don't think I got it on me, I probably haven't, I got snowdrift, but snowdrift obviously, you know, you know how it goes people, you know how it goes people, I don't think I need to explain all this years, I mean like we've been playing this game a long long time now, but Artifact, obviously, Victory Rush, Snodrift Victory Rush, perfect. Look for what's on them, which will help your build. 
all in all. Okay, so on to the tree. So we will start with Sentinel actually, because I use that in action skill slot one. And we have five points into violent speed and five points into violent momentum. The faster you move, the more damage you do, and these help tremendously with that. So five points in either of these. We then want obviously drawn delivery selected, because dropping a, well, your Sentinel drops a grenade. This will trigger the either it's, it's fist or the, um, the fish slap. Vice versa, you know how it's going, you know how it goes. Then we have three points into salvation. With this just, I mean, it's, this is based on, I mean, you'll always more or less be in your, your um, barrier anyway, but still this does come in handy when your barrier does run out and it will run out sometimes. So this does come in handy there. And then we have their follows close, selected obviously. Five points into violent violence and five points into plain dirty. These are great when paired together also and it makes this build unbelievable. Then we have three points into good misfortune. Obviously, killing an enemy increases Zane's action skill duration. This paired with the seeing dead means that you only have to shoot enemies to get your, well, extend your action skills duration. So that's pretty cool too. And then we have seeing red. Activating an action skill or automatically activate all of Zane's kill skills. Uh, all arguments we use here are bad dose and we use static field. I always use on sense, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the digital. Five points into synchronicity, three points into pre immune test. I mean, magazine size people, I love it. And then we've got five points into dynamic book. These two paired together are unbelievable. I mean, you don't have to use Digiclon to get the benefits of these, and they are absolutely amazing. Then we have two points into duct tape mark. This, obviously, as you can read, the first shot fired from Zane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. This will trigger the benefits of, say, the it's piss or the, the fish lap. And then we have three points into Supersonic Man. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed for each active action skill. So 12%, 24%, when you got both of them moving. People, it's power, it's power, it's damage. And then we have a barrier, which we use as a second action skill. We've got five points in Adrenaline, which I mean, it isn't a must. Zane gains increased action skill cooldown rate. I mean, I suppose it, I suppose I've, just, I've always used it from day one of this build. This is what I've always used. I've tried and tested these numerous times and we need five to get down. This is the one I go for. Simple as that. Three points into Brain Freeze and then two points into Rise to the Occasion. Brain Freeze is a great perk, but I don't think you really need five here. Three works just as well, if I'm totally honest. And then we have one point in Competent Competence, which just gives us gun damage, people. What we want, it's what we want. Then we have four augments here. We have a uh, charge relay. Whenever Zane or an ally touches the barrier, they gain increased movement speed and reload speed for a few seconds. Speed, people! Speed, people! And then we have all rounder, which basically, if you're inside the. I don't. I mean, depends what I'm doing. I mean, these two here, these augments, are kind of split because one will work when you touch the barrier, you drop it, touch it, and run around. The other one will work where you're, say, in a raid and you're getting bombarded or slaughter shaft and getting bombarded by enemies just protected from all sides so yeah these work in both ways that's why I selected them and that is it people that is the build it's as simple as that um I mean there's nothing else to be honest if you looked at my is it 2.0 winter soldier build it's basically the same I think I just added I can't remember what I've done here I know it's changed up slightly I think it's more so these and more so here I think the two extra three extra points went into good misfortune and either playing dirty or violent violence but the difference it makes is unbelievable and it works absolute wonders and I'll leave you to watch a bit of this uh, build in action in the solo shaft or wherever I decide to play and you'll see just how quick it melts all but yes people that is the build for those who wanted an updated version of my winter soldier and I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like it really helps out I'll leave you to watch the gameplay in the background now and hopefully I will see you on that next one
will look to act the maggot. Happy how you saw this going. 